friends and future friends, I am Shrewboy313 and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. In the last episode we defeated Weevil again, and then he gave us details on basically how to progress the story. <laughs> oh dear. And then, what did we do? We went to the card shop, because there was a dude in the card shop who wanted to duel us, so we did that. He was a ghoul. The ghouls have appeared. And then after we defeated him... Da, 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 the building, nowhere specific in the city, and bridge opened up. So I want to head to the building first. I want to just like... Yeah, I just want to... <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I keep just interrupting myself. Basically what I'm saying is I just want to duel the people at the building first. Right, yeah, but like I want to do that before we carry on with the story. Because there are actually quite a lot of people here at the building, so I want to be dealing with all of them first, you know, getting my duelist level, getting the money up, and... Okay, rude, that wasn't called for. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> yeah, and also, if you could, well, I mean, I assume you could see because it was pretty obvious. My my Valentine, she was actually just casually chilling there in front of the building, so we hopefully we can duel her after this girl that we're dealing now. Electric Lizard, one monster immobilized again, alright. I mean, I keep wanting to use the Hourglass of Life, but I keep getting other monsters to summon. <laughs> right, this next turn, let's do it. Ah, uh, see, it would have been good to power up Dryad as well, but... Eh, CBA. Especially when we can just finish her off this turn. Ta-da! <clears throat> also, do apologise, I may just be coughing up my guts in the background of this. <laughs> A UFO turtle, a gigantic turtle that has made its shell from a UFO. Amazingly enough, it's said to be able to fly. Alright. You're strong, you're like nothing compared to Mr. Kaiba. Okay, let's deal this person instead then, shall we? Oh, they're going first. Ooh. Let's go with Mask of Darkness. Okay, well, let's just make this easy, shall we? I don't want to run the risk of them having. Oh gosh, he no time. Oh, he no time. Well, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> there's so much going on at once. Right. I mean, I was going to use Witch's Apprentice, but I want to get rid of Electric Lizard. Right. There we go. I can use the Witch's. A mm, let's use Fairy Witch instead because we can power her up as well. <laughs> I feel like this is just going to be the recurring theme of this area. I could pa I could power up my monster, or I could just summon more to power up. Right, there we go. Dark monsters get powered up, light monsters get weakened. That is why I avoided summoning the Goddess of Wind, because obviously she is a light monster, so I did not want to weaken her. <laughs> right, uh, oh yes, hourglass me! <laughs> Nice. And now, the Goddess of Whim is my weakest monster. I nearly said Pokemon. This this isn't that game. <laughs> oh dear. But anyway, we've, we've defeated this person as well. 5 capacity, 429 domino and cannon soldier. Oh, that one. A fiendish machine which is equipped with a top side cannon. Its attack power is on the high side. Good description. <laughs> that is terrible. Oh dear. Oh, aren't you one of Joey Wheeler's little friends? What a surprise meeting you here. It looks like some good duelists have gathered, but they're all pushovers as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> sure, but I'm not betting locator cards. I've got five of them already. Girl, same. <laughs> the next one I'm going to take from Joey Wheeler. Okay, that's nice, my. Ooh, we're in the mountain. Um, right, what's invisible? What? Oh, 2,000 or less, that is fine. So let's go with Dharma Cannon, and then let's beef it up next turn. Karama, that's that bird, I think? Question mark? <laughs> oh dear, you know what, screw Dharma Cannon, we have Fairy Witch instead. Right, and hope she doesn't- there we go, I was gonna say hope she doesn't get taken out. Thankfully she did not. And now let's just beef her up. <laughs> Because that hour, these hourglasses of life are just 
so overpowered. I'm well, I say so overpowered. I'm pretty sure they're overpowered. Uh, let's not use Witch's Apprentice, shall we? Because <laughs> literally two of my two of my three monsters on the field are light, and I do not want to weaken them back down again. Right? Could we win this turn? Thirty-one. Yeah, thirty-one hundred. We can win. There we go. <laughs> That, was, that wasn't as painful as the other two. Probably because of the electric lizards that weren't there. Right, five deck capacity, 8,000 domino, and harpy lady, awesome. A female monster that is half bird and half human. It can power up harpy's pet dragon. I, how? I lost. You're pretty good. I shouldn't have gone easy on you. I guess you couldn't be weak, come to think of it. Not if you're friends with Yugi and Joey Wheeler. Nice. How is my deck capacity looking? Um, see, I want to take out some of the non-female monsters, just because they're not fit in keeping with the theme. Also, Joey's here as well. Yo, Shroob, what are you doing here? Dueling. Oh yeah, hanging in, huh? How many cards did you get? What? You've got that many already? Uh-oh. I'm lagging. I shouldn't be wasting my time here. I better go find some dual partners. I'm out of here. Go for it. Cool, that was very long-winded. Esperoba beat him. Is this person going to duel? I don't know, they won't even talk to me. That's fine, okay, that's fine. Does this person want to duel? There we go. <laughs> I'm literally, at this point, I'm just doing it for the deck capacity. <laughs> so, I mean, to be honest, that's how they scale up the difficulty, I'm pretty sure. Uh, torrential Tribute, oh gosh, they were going to destroy a door on, weren't they? With an electric lizard, they absolutely were. <laughs> right. Power up that. I mean, we do have another line of defense if they use another electric lizard, but... Eh. Right, Feather Duster. Let's get rid of one of the Dorons for an Empress Judge. <laughs> or for the Empress Judge again. And then I think next turn I'm just going to use the Hourglass of Life. <laughs> now I feel like I made a good decision jamming three of them in my deck. <laughs> so I mean, they are not to be messed with. Right, and Doron will finish them off. Nice, five capacity, a little bit of money, and giant rat. A powerful rat that has grown to, abnorm to an abnormally large size. Exposure to radiation is thought to be the cause. Alright then. Cool, let's go up to another floor then, shall we? Let's go to the second floor. Right, hello. I duel with my friends here, do you want to duel? Sure. <laughs> this is look. this episode just seems to be me just like, dueling all of the like, non-necessary opponents. <laughs> See, I wanted to use Malevolent Nuzzler, but I didn't draw anything that I could use it on immediately. Obviously minus the Dark Witch, is it Dark Witch? Yes. Right. Da 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 da, I'll Inception, do that. Right, that's re ooh, Rejeki, let's keep that. Let's tribute this, do that, do that. Malevolent Nuzzler was activated, it powered up a monster. Awesome. I feel like having equip cards, what it might be like a waste of time when we've just got things like, what is it, the Hourglass of Life, which can power up every monster except for like, well, yeah, which can power up every monster, it just feels like maybe they're a little bit of a waste, but eh, who knows. Considering we're about to win, I don't really think it matters. <laughs> right, and finish him off with the Dark Witch. Right, dual victory. Cannon. Oh, we've already got a cannon soldier. I don't need to read that. Right. Yeah, literally now this is just me just blasting through all of the duels. <laughs> right, uh, probably would have been a smarter thing to play Nemurico first, then I could have powered her up as well. Right, that's fine. Ah. I mean, I was going to use Alan section, but oh, clearly Dryad is better in every way. Right, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, Alan section, I just keep drawing cards that outclass it. <laughs> Which I am not going to complain at, if I'm honest. 
the chart was widespread ruin. That was like, uh, okay then. That was an electric lizard trying to get rid of my Amazon of the sea, I believe. But you know what? It doesn't matter anyway because we've won this duel as well. <laughs> right now I know. Oh, Genin, a being that uses its illusionary spells to beat foes. It's also conscious dust to carry out its attacks. Nice. <laughs> Oh, what was I going to say? I do not remember what I was going to say. Right, Electric Lizard, let's go with Dryad again. <laughs> I mean, I was going to go with Doran, but obviously that is not the smart thing to do. Feather Duster, and there we go. Right. I shall go with Doran on the next turn unless we draw something better. There we go. Let's multiply that, and I think next turn I'm just going to tribute one of the Doron for the Empress Judge. <laughs> yep, that's fine, I'll tribute the other Doron then, because I've noticed a lot of the duelists in this like section of the game, they use a lot of electric monsters, which if we attack with Earth, die immediately, or get destroyed immediately, I guess it's not dying. It's the monster getting destroyed. <laughs> If you want the technical terms. Right, but the Empress Judge will finish this as well. Also, I'm thinking I might be able to swap out a card or two. Ooh, Takuhi. A glittering gold bird that is considered to be a bad omen. It, it, wait, its appearance is always... <laughs> always... <laughs> basically, when it turns up, there's a tragedy. Our group is what people would consider weak. We don't measure up to anyone as strong as you. That's nice. Right, um, might actually be worth one, two, three, I was going to say getting rid of Ill Witch, but we don't have that many, like, strong monsters technically, I guess. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of happy with, like, my spell and spells and traps for the minute, like, I've got no overwhelming urge to replace any of them. It's just more than monsters, I'm thinking. Uh, we've got quite a few water ones, so I will get rid of the fe oopsie, get rid of the furious sea king, which leaves us with uh, three forty. No, that's sixty three hundred and one hundred and sixty eight. That's what we've got to work with. So let's go with cost, and there we go, one hundred and sixty eight. So oh, ta da, <laughs> happy lady. Oh, actually. Uh, what's fairy's gift? That's a forest. Canaan is earth, or Canaan. Um, I'm just thinking it's either... I don't want to put water omotics back in, because I'm just replacing one water monster with another. Hmm, I'm just thinking... Well, Canaan and fairy's gift, they are strong, like the stronger two monsters. Um... Actually, you know what, let's put the harpy lady in, uh, da -da nope, go back, sort out by attack, because I know I've got a copy of harpy lady's sisters, ah right, we need 116 for that, which we do not have, well let's go with cost, um, yeah, ooh, actually let's get rid of dryad, and uh, go back to cost. I was going to say replace Dryad with like Fairy's Gift because they are both forest. Yeah, they're both forest. And do we have an earth one? Um, let's get rid of Amazon of the Sea for Canaan. It's just, honestly, it's just stronger monsters is what I'm after. Hmm. Just thinking it might be worth getting rid of Boneheimer as well. Uh, 130, 121, we do not have the space for those. 65, I'd be working with 72. And I don't really think I could get anything decent with 72 that we don't already have. Nope. Ooh, actually. I did see one there. So let's go down to... Get rid of you. I did see something. Attack. 
Where is she? Oh, actually, could I put... I could... Ooh, very close for Dark Magician Girl, but Warrior of Tradition. There we go. So we've got a f <laughs> We've changed up the deck a little bit. Hey, speaking of which... Right, and if they try and attack her... Well, we've got the two lines of defence. Um... Right. I mean, I probably could have, you know, tributed for one of the other two monsters. Red medicine. Oh, okay, that's fine. If they're only healing, I can get behind that. Right. There we go, Dark Witch. I may as well trade up for something more powerful. Right. Hey, our glass of life. There we go. So now next turn we can start attacking this person's life points. And also, I do apologise that there's been no you know, story progression in this episode, but yeah, there are a lot of people to deal with here. I think, I think at the end of this duel, yeah, oh gosh, I've just drawn all of my <laughs> tributable monsters, haven't I, essentially? Oh dear. You know, Tama, that's fine. Acid Trap Hole, ooh, Hain Hain. That is a wind monster that was probably going to try and get rid of my Empress Judge. Right, actually we've still got a few minutes left. Deck capacity, Ancient Elf. An elf that has lived for thousands upon thousands of years. It controls elementals to attack foes. That's nice. <laughs> Let's go to the third floor. Oh, there's only two people to duel up here, nice. Cool, we can do that. <laughs> Um, let's go with Fairy Witch, just because she has the defense for it. Widespread Ruin. <laughs> let's go with this monster that I've jammed in defense mode. <laughs> wow, I'm an idiot. Uh, what was it? Electric Snake. Eh, why not? Let's take it. <laughs> sure, let's hit him with her own monster. Alright, Acid Trap Hole, Electric Lizard. Sure. I assume they were probably going to try and get rid of their own snake, or maybe Fairy Witch? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, I don't really understand the AI in this game, it's not exactly smart. Oh, my Fairy Witch. She, did, she didn't deserve that. She deserved better. <laughs> right, but anyway, we've won this turn anyway, so does it matter? It does not. Right. De oh, wow. Fiend Sword. A powerful sword that has been possessed by an ancient curse. It empowers anyone that can overcome its curse. Very good. Good for you. And this last person in this cubicle. Don't think I'm easy because I'm an adult. Look, I'll be honest, I've gotten easier because I am an adult. <laughs> there was information the world didn't need to know, but it's out there now. <laughs> oh dear. Bear tra Blast Juggler. Because it's fire. Okay, yeah. I was just thinking, why? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, Blast Juggler's weaker than Alan's section, but my dumb brain forgot that it was fire against forest. Or fire against insect, I don't know. Take your pick of an explanation. Right. Um, da -da 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 -da. All monsters. I'm assuming it was going to be an electric monster. Just gonna go it. Hey, look, I was right. You know, I was gonna say I'm just gonna go out on a limb. Right. Also, Doron. It actually seems like one of those monsters that it's. Even when you get later in the game, it is well worth keeping in your deck, just because obviously it can multiply itself. And like, even if it does get, de even if one of them gets destroyed, you still have an extra line of defense. Right. And shining a oh, oh angel. <laughs> I thought it said Shining Arise at first. Wow, I'm an idiot. An ethereal fairy that shoots a beam from the halo on its head. Gua, you win. You're darn strong. Right. Sorry, I'm just. I'm not gonna lie. I briefly forgot which button correlates to A and which correlates to B. <laughs> oh dear. Right. There is nothing out on the roof. So I'm gonna end this episode here. Oh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos, and in the next episode we will head out to the bridge. So I will see you then.